today we're going to go over how to make a bootable USB drive using the Dell Repository Manager for server updates. Um, our, as you can see, I already have the, the uh, Repository Manager open. Um, uh, today I'm going to do the demonstration on an R720, um, so I already had that selected. Um, we'll go ahead and click on the export URL, uh, create a bootable ISO, um, go ahead and hit next. Let it do its checks of the plugin. Next, uh, where do we want to keep this? I already have a directory created, um, so I'll go ahead and select the R720, click next or OK, and then next, and finish. The job has started. We'll go ahead and uh, look at the queue, the job queue, and we'll see that the um, job has been initiated. Okay, the job has been sent to the queue. You can see that it started. Now that our bootable ISO has completed downloading um, using the Dell Repository Manager, we're going to go ahead and create our bootable USB drive. And with this, uh, how I'm going to do this is using the Universal Boot Installer, which was a free download. Um, I'll go ahead and include the link at the end of this video. Um, but we'll go ahead and start that. It's a little executable. It doesn't install anything on your computer. Um, what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and select disk image. We know that we want it to be an ISO, so we'll leave that default. Uh, we'll browse for the ISO image. Um, here it is. It's under my R720 directory. It's listing the ISO image that we just downloaded. So we'll go ahead and select that. We want to make sure that the uh, type is USB drive and that the drive letter is selected. Say OK to that and give that a few moments and it'll create the uh, image on the thumb drive. Okay, now that the uh, creation of the USB drive is complete, we're going to go ahead and exit. Now that the USB uh, bootable drive has been created, we're going to go ahead and take it from our workstation, put it on the server that we want to do the update on. Um, and go ahead and restart that server or start that server up and get to the uh, BIOS boot menu. Um, you do that by hitting the F11 key when prompted. Um, as you can see, I've already got to the uh, boot manager. I'm going to go ahead and select BIOS boot menu. And we're going to go ahead and boot to the USB drive that we just created. And uh, installed onto the server. Um, it should be the, uh, as you can see, I select the uh, hard drive. Um, it'll give me the, a couple of the options um, that are available to it. I'm going to go ahead and select my USB drive and hit OK. And we should boot up into the uh, universal boot installer. We're going to go ahead and select one, hit enter. give it a few minutes here. It'll take just a few minutes to go ahead and get started. And as you can see the um, firmware um, are starting to get um, updated. It's doing its checks, which ones can be updated and which ones can't, and it'll continue on with its update process. As you can see here, the iDRAC uh, was uh, found that it needs to be updated. The current version's at 1.4, and the package version is 1.56.55, so it's going to go ahead and do that update here. As you can see, we're still getting our updates. We're on uh, update 54 out of 101. Um, of course, not all the 101 will be updated. It's doing its check to, to verify if, if one is needed. Um, it will go ahead and do that. And, and as you can see on this one, we did stop at uh, number 54 on the OS drivers pack. Okay, as you can see, the uh, updates are now completed. Uh, the server is waiting to be rebooted to apply some of those updates that were uh, installed. A um, couple things uh, you want to note is, uh, one, before you start any of this process, 
you'll need a DTK file downloaded from Dell. Uh, there is a known issue with some of the DTK versions uh, and they break the USB functionality. So Dell came up with a workaround which um, what you need to do is download the latest DTK CAB file from Dell which at the time of this video was 740.cab. Um, then you put that CAB file in the uh, user profile, app data, local, repository manager, payloads directory. As you can see here, uh, I ha already have it open. I'm in the payloads directory. Um, I've already put the CAB file, as you can see here, there was a, a previous version which was 730. I deleted that one, put in the latest, and then I started my repository manager to uh, get the latest updates. Also, I uh, talked about using this executable, the universal boot installer executable. Um, you'll have to download that, and I've included the link for the universal net boot installer uh, right here, which is http colon slash slash unetbootin dot sourceforge dot net. Um, and then also the required cab file, and this is again from directly from Dell. Uh, which is an FTP site, and that's FTP colon slash slash FTP.us.dell.com forward slash folder 0216-7186M forward slash one forward slash DTK underscore 740.cab. Again, you'll need that cab file in order to have the, uh, the USB boot work correctly. That concludes this video. Uh, I'm going to include the step-by-step uh, -step instructions for creating a bootable USB drive for the Dell firmware updates. I'll leave it up for a few moments in case you'd like to take notes or uh, take a screenshot for future use.